Hello everyone, welcome back to 17 square meters garden. In today's video I'm gonna show you how to use baskets as planters. We will be using both metal and wicker baskets and we'll create some really simple fall compositions. So let's begin. Let's start with the wicker basket. First clean the basket with a brush. I keep my baskets outside all year round, so it's really important to spray them with a wood preservative at least once or twice a year to protect them from the weather conditions and from absorbing moisture. I spray mine with a clear wood preservative. Now let's leave it for a few minutes to dry. Then line the wicker basket with a plastic bag. The bag should be larger than the basket, we will cut off the excess later. Choose a black or dark bag, do not take colorful bags because they will be really visible and make your composition unattractive. It's very important to cut drainage holes at the bottom so that the water can drain away easily and the plants do not stand in water, which could cause them to rot. Next, I put some potting mix into the bottom of the basket. I use a multi-purpose potting mix, which is the best choice for seasonal planters, hanging baskets and such. The plants I'm gonna be using for this composition are Anemone Fantasy Red Riding Hood. It is a winter hardy perennial. Uh, it blooms in the fall, so in the spring you can repot it into its separate pot and enjoy it for many years on your balcony. Kaluna Vulgaris Fluffy. That's a really beautiful header. Again, they are winter hardy, so if you want, you can keep them and then repot them in the spring into a ericaceous potting mix, which is an acidic potting mix. This sedum came without a plant tag, but it's a sedum cauticola. I'm not 100% sure what's the exact variety, perhaps lindacans. Sedums are really low maintenance and actually grow really well on a north or northeast facing balcony. Ivy leafed cyclamen, cyclamen hederifolium, these are called Amaze Me White. Unlike the larger cyclamens, for example cyclamen persicum, these are very winter hardy. So again, you can keep them, you can put them on separately in the spring, or if you have a real garden, you can plant them into your shared border. Okay, so let's start planting. I placed larger plants at the back, but you could also place them in the center. You can gently tease the roots if they look very pot-bound. Don't hesitate to add or remove soil to place the plants at different levels. You don't have to plant the flowers straight, plant them at an angle to get the look that you want. Add more soil and press it around the roots so that all the roots are covered and there are no air pockets. Once you're done, cut off excess plastic with a pair of scissors. To give your composition a finished look, cover bare spots with some moss. And then obviously don't forget to water. Moving on, we will now plant a composition in a metal basket. In the case of metal baskets, you must of course line them with something before planting. You can use straw, a piece of burlap bag or preserved sheet moss. I'm using moss because that's what I like the most. Make sure that all the interior of the basket is covered. Next, we will yet again line it with a plastic bag. This is not necessary, you can plant directly, but this is just to keep things clean and it prevents soil from washing out. So 
So yet again, let's cut some drainage holes. The plants I will be using for this composition are white chrysanthemums, Kaluna vulgaris, a classic header, New York aster, Symphiotrichum novi belgii, it is a very winter hardy plant as well. Mullenbeckia axillaris that I already had on my balcony, it's a good idea to be creative and to use plants that you already have. Before we start planting, just wanted to say that if you are a beginner gardener or if you feel overwhelmed by making compositions or you don't know how to pick plants, you can still create something really simple, for example you could totally just plant headers and I think that will still look really good. Okay, the same steps as before, putting some soil at the bottom and planting the flowers. In summer, a composition like this wouldn't work, because plants need more space to grow and to spread. In fall and winter, plants are not actively growing, so it's okay to plant them very close to one another. And then in the spring you can repot them and give them some more room to grow. Don't forget to water, at this time of year you don't need to use a lot of water and you don't need to water too often, because the temperatures are cooler, so the water doesn't evaporate or is not absorbed as quickly as in summer. These compositions can be planted anywhere, whether you have a sunny balcony or a shady patio, because in all cases the light levels are reduced at this time of year and plants are not actively growing. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and found it inspiring. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next week. Bye!